G'day everyone, Goober here with another Torchlight SS4 video. Um, after yesterday's video, I just started doing a little bit of um, tier 7 boss rush farming. Uh, I managed to farm up about 400 flame elementium uh, worth of stuff, and that all sold uh, overnight, which is really nice. So I spent a tiny bit of FE this morning, just getting a, a bit more damage, uh, a tiny, tiny bit more tank. Uh, I'm still squishy, but at least now it doesn't tell me that I'm going to die every time I open a map. Um, so... Ooh, nice, got a yellow. So anyway, um, I figured... Yeah, I do have enough. I would attempt Traveller. Even though my gear, uh, I bought this for 50 flame elementium. It's basically just a miniature wardens and it had plus one skill and a couple of res. Uh, pretty cool. I bought this um, base that I can craft on once I farm up some more uh, flame sand. I sold all that last night. And uh, that's all the upgrades that I bought for gear. The other thing that I bought was some slate bases for 10 to 15 flame elementium each and just used whatever currency I had to upgrade them a tiny bit. Um, I didn't really have anything else there worth putting on or that would benefit me at all. So now I'm just uh, getting levels. I'm going to see what, um, what loot this guy gives. Uh, the first time that you kill him on T7 and on T8, he gives a free um, slate. Pedigree of the Gods. If we get lucky, we might get a good one. Um, on my other character, the first time that I killed him on T8, I got a precise elemental res level 21. I sold... Uh, I ended up using... I didn't sell it. Um, and a pedigree that was worth 800 as well. When I killed him on uh, T7, I think I got one worth about 100, something like that. So, definitely worth killing him at least once. Ooh. Um, I was selling everything yesterday, so that's why I didn't do it yesterday. Got an Echo, that's worth, uh, well, it used to be worth about 30. Now they're worth 38. Nice. Decent. So it's 36 to run that. So what we get? Isomorphic arms, but nothing else there is good. So that's probably not worth too much. ISO 10. Eh, I mean, it could have been worse. I doubt that's worth 90. So I'll put it up for 50 and see if it sells. 50. Probably could use it, honestly. What else drops? The Echo. For uh, 38. So, just smashing through at the moment, getting as much currency as possible. Unfortunate that uh, the perpetual motion went up in price. Uh, it was down to 900 FE the other day. Now it's 700 FE more. Um, so that'll be a very soon upgrade for that. Yes, I've unlocked Path of Brave. Cool, cool. And a Turner. Cool, cool. Um, DPS check in my best pack spirits that I have, which is none. So I'm currently doing five, six, eight and a half billion deeps. It's not too bad, not too bad, considering. Um, I'll be doing, hmm, I missed the points there. Definitely can't do T8 at the moment. 
but I can easily do T7. So I'm going to switch out of the XP trait cards in a minute and just focus on making currency because the XP will roll. Anyway, I'll pause this here and I'll see you when I do another hour test. Cheers. That's pretty interesting, the uh, chaotic ending. Whenever I've price checked that, it's been like one FE unidentified. I've never considered selling them for five FE unidentified before, but it's sold, so that's interesting. Alrighty, time to start a um, boss rush test. <clears throat> the track deck that I'm going with is pity for the attention bonuses. Morning, Sentimental, and Solemnity. Solemnity? Um, unsure how to say that. Four chances for um, rank five beacons to drop and the chance for them to be upgraded. Uh, chance for cube to spawn. Chance for nightmare to spawn with dreams come true for the chance at additional drop quantity. And then the chance for uh, goddess of the hunt with duplication of legendary bosses. Uh, I will be going with rank 4 um, <coughs> Voidlands maps, which cost 8 Netherrealm each, which I'll be completely funding from uh, inventory. So no real cost for this one. We're definitely going to make back the Netherrealm that it takes to um, run this. The major draw card that we, we will get is the extra maps. I'm unsure if these prices are accurate. The price of everything else has gone up, so these have probably gone up. Um, and on the realisation that Chaotic Ending sells for five unID'd, it'll be Chaotic Ending and um, the beginnings. So the beginnings were nine each, so a little bit extra there. I'll be doing this for a couple of hours. Hopefully I can make 1600 FE in two hours, and that will allow me to automate my build. And it will be so much better. Did I just save that? I appear to have. All right, cool. So I'll be doing Filthy Forest. I won't be juicing. Um, I'll bring up a clock. And let's see how long it takes to do a map. And then I will... I don't have much movement speed. And I don't have God of War, so this is going to be pretty slow. Um, I do need to get precise swiftness and a few other things going. I'm not going to bother with God of Machines. And I will do the um, other stuff if it appears. So 30 seconds, not too bad. Bah, they move. So annoying. It's not annoying that they move. It's annoying that the, uh, the loot drops somewhere else when they die where they started from. Seems I'm doing a plane watcher about every four minutes. Um, the nightmare took a little while. Yeah, I am struggling to keep my eyes awake. This is crazy. Four hours of running after kids at a party. Hopefully this is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's the red that I want to see. Oh, baby. Couple of those. 11 FE. That's what it's about. Alrighty, I need to wake up a little bit, so I'm going to do a quick tally of uh, what we've had drop so far. Honestly, I didn't expect these to be still going down. Um, so that's a fair bit of the profit from this. Gone. Um... There's 25 FE from that, which, so 6, 12, 18, 25. So that would have been about 50 or, you know, 60 or 70 FE um, last time I did this strap. So that's interesting. Uh, the rank 5 plus beacons have gone up a little bit. Um, so that's reasonable to get two of those. Uh, and yeah, so I'm building a decent nightmare at the moment. So this will probably go up to about 500 FE for the hour, which honestly, considering I'm not using pack spirits, 
Um, it's pretty decent, really, honestly. Uh, anyway, if we get a desire core or something, we'll we'll boost this, but we'll see how we go. Of course, it had to trigger because I was uh, I was getting a good one, so it triggered at ten percent. To think, I was at about eighty percent XP a minute ago. Uh, what am I doing? Commodity. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Hopefully this nightmare gets us a little bit extra. Three red bubbles. Probably do alright. The drop rate on 7-0 is not that great, really, is it? Um, it's pretty good early on in the season when beacons are worth a bit, but I don't think it's really worth running at the moment. I'm considering attempting 8-0 on this character. Uh, just because the, the keys are so cheap. But um, the survivability for this is uh, like 70,000. And I have just over 10. So I if I can do the damage... Four eight zero I might do it after I level. Alrighty, this is going to be the last map of this test. Um, excuse me. Uh, will I bother trying to level? My gear is so horrible that I think just grinding for another uh, hour or so to try and level might be pointless. I don't really get much from 95, so... Uh, I'll probably just deal with it. So that's the end of this test. Uh, I'll tally it up and we'll see how we went. Alrighty, it wasn't the massive haul that I was uh, hoping for. Didn't get a desire record. I forgot to do Divinity Stones. Uh, where are they? 7-Eleven. Oops, that's not it. This one. La -la 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 -bum -bum -bum. Divinity Stones, where are they? there. So that's actually 14, which isn't too bad. Um, so 355 for the hour. 7-0 because of these. Like, as I said before, previously that would have been um, because they were between 3 to 5 FE, so that was that accounts for like 150 flame elementium versus um, currently it's 45, uh, 47. So 355 FE, not great. Um, let's see if I can do a um, tier 8 map. Don't know if I will be able to. Considering my damage is kind of horrendous. Um, hmm. See how it goes. Oh, my damage is okay. Like, my damage is fine ish. Um. If I get hit, I'm dead, basically. Um, <laughs> so this is going better than I thought it would. Um, hit for 100 mil. Oh, ew, okay. That was a weird teleport. I think my brain teleported and everything else stayed. <laughs> um, and the map boss, not too bad reasonable all things considered where is my mouse I'm so tired that this is <coughs> this is a struggle either way so hmm I might as well just collect that so having a complete look at the character at the moment Yes, yeah, this stash. So this stash is this character. So 454 FE, 
pretty decent. I could probably upgrade some stuff rather than waiting for per perpetual motion because my gear is absolutely shit house. I've still got a lonesome on. I could replace that with two rings. Be a lot tankier. Sort out some resistances. 40, 60, 60 is not that bad, honestly. Um, but yeah. I won't drag this video on. I'll be probably hopping back on my other character just to get some um, actual farming done. Do a uh, team up video. And I'll see you very shortly. Cheers.